On this video podcast, we are going to talk about a verse from John where he tells us that we're going to have troubles on this earth. This is true, but you have to go through Jesus right. to get them taken care of. Yeah, right? well, he has overcome the world, he tells ah. us. And Mar Mark learns that I'm a witch. <laughs> Music. <laughs> Hi. Right. Hi, and welcome back to another video podcast of Thankful for Us. Thankful for Us. Yes. I am thankful for you. I'm Do you thankful know for you. You are? Yeah. Oh, good. And I'm thankful for all of you. Ah, oh, that's nice. Well, I'm glad you can join us. Mm -hmm. Jenny's going to read a Bible verse, and then we're going to discuss it and how it relates to today's life. That's right. For simple people, because we are simple people. We're simpletons. Okay, we're simpletons. That's what Mark and I decided this week, that we're simpletons. <laughs> and I know you all know it already, but we decided. Okay, so this is Jesus talking. This is John sixteen thirty three. Thank you, John. And Jesus said, I have told you these things so that in time you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Wow. Isn't that great news? That's like telling him, telling us he's it, all right? He's it? He's it. He is it. He has overcome everything. That's right. All right. And I remember once our pastor in New York saying, you know, all this seems so hard for us, but for, for God, it's like, pfft. Right. It's over. Right. It's all over. Mm-hmm. Because he has overcome the world. That's right. And I know we've talked about on here before that, like, uh, you know, all we know really is this world and right. the hardships of this world. Uh -huh. But there's so much more. That's because uh, scientists are out there looking in space and see if there's some more life on other planets, right? No. Uh, okay. <laughs> sure, that's where I was going with that. I'm going to see how small Earth is and how our life is. Hey, tiny. I don't know. Jesus came and died for just you. I know. Isn't that so great? I think, your, I think your life is pretty important. Mm, very important. Yes, we are here. And I think I found the meaning, the meaning of life. You well, did? Why are we here? What? What's the meaning of life? The meaning of life is <laughs> to help each other survive. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh. I think that might be in a Bible somewhere, isn't it? To help each other survive? Yeah, to help each other. We're here to help each other. I don't know. You'll have to find that verse. Yeah. I don't know. But I was just driving down the road thinking, everybody asks that question, why are we here? What is the answer? Why am I here? Well, you're here to help others. Okay. You didn't like that? Yeah, I like it. But uh, I don't know that that's the only reason we're here. Uh, but yeah, I think we're called. That's to help why each I'm other. here. And you do help me. Ah, uh, see, I'm doing a good job. You right? are doing a good All job. All right. So. Yeah. Oh, good. We do help others because it's better to to give than to receive. Did you just make that up? No, but I <laughs> did post that in Facebook. Yeah. And I didn't get too many hits on it. No. But maybe they've heard it before. But like even at Christmas probably, yeah. They probably already know that. Probably. But like at Christmas time, you know, the little kids are they're happy but you know, getting presents where we're happy to give them presents. We are. Or even, not even just kids, anybody, right. you know. It, each other, right? And to see the smile on their face. Right. You know, right? And right. you get that feeling in your heart. And, right. Right. And get that's all wishy. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Right? That's true. And how does that relate to this Bible verse? Uh, it doesn't. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. I just wondered where you were going with it. I don't know. I just had to say that. I just had so. that thought. Yeah, yeah, I had that thought. That's, yeah, that's yeah. good. A lot of people say, "Well, I have to find myself," or you know, "I have to find um, my purpose." Right. Do you think you can find your purpose without Jesus? Mm, 
Probably not. No. Nope. Probably not. Because you got to go through him first. That's right. Right? That's yeah. right. So even this purpose that you're talking about, helping others, I think we got to find that through Jesus. Right? Mm-hmm. And you get that. It says that. right there, we won't find peace without him. Uh-huh. We'll find it and in him. And he says, you will have troubles. Not you might have trouble. That's right. You will have trouble. Right. Right. That's a misconception, too, right. that uh, Christians don't have troubles. Where they say, why me? It's because it's you. Why not you? Why not? Why not us? It's got to right? be somebody. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So. People say, you know, why does God allow these things to happen? Well, why, why did we sin? Right. You know. But if you have Jesus in there, through him, you will find peace. That's right. Hey, that's a good one. That is. I think you should I got write that a song. One. I think I got. Hey, yeah. You should write a song, song like that. Finding peace through Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how song. people do it without any uh, I, spiritual guide through them through how they get I by in this either. world. But. If any of you are not Christians and you have gone through a death, let us know how you do it. All I right. want to know. I really do. Mm-hmm. Do they pray at all, or do they just yeah, say? Yeah, do you pray? Do you do you just uh, rely on others? Do yeah. you? I want to know. I really do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, drop in that comment. Right. Let us know. I'm serious because yeah. I don't. I have been through a few deaths in mm-hmm. my life, and I don't know how I would have survived without knowing that I'm going to see them again. Right. 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 And I know there's people out there who think that the end of this life is the end. That's it. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yeah. if I thought that, I don't know that I would survive. Maybe death, that's why they don't care or something. They think, this is it. Let me do. Right. YOLO, you know, right? Uh, YOLO? YOLO. YOLO. You only live once. Ah. That's what YOLO is. Did you make that up? No. Ah, yeah. That's what, I think that's what the young and say now these days. Uh, YOLO. 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 You only live once. You only live once. Uh, you only live once on this earth. But that's right. What happens afterwards? That's right. Uh, that's right. That's what really matters. Because you know why? Because that's forever. Forever. And ever. And ever. And yeah. ever is a long time. That is a long time. Yeah. That is a long time. Yeah. And I think it counts what we do on this earth. God calls us to go through Jesus. Mm-hmm. And Jesus calls us to go through him right in that verse. That's right. He says that we will find peace through him. Right. And only through him. Mm-hmm. Very good. It's good. Right. And he has overcome the world. So all these things that seem impossible to us, and there's a lot of things that seem impossible to us. Oh, yeah. Don't you think? Sure. Like, okay, I'm going to share this. So lately I have been having this kind of bad feeling. Uh-oh. Do any of you ever get that where you just have an off feeling where something's going to go wrong? You know this. Uh-huh. You know, I this. know. And I've had this before. She has these magical powers in her. Uh, now they're not magical because I can't seem to do anything about it except pray, uh-huh. which is awesome. Uh-huh. You know. But I've had them before and something always happens that's that's a struggle, let's say. Mm-hmm. True. So I have, I've been having this <clears throat> feeling for mm, maybe a couple of weeks now. And I've prayed with everyone in our family. And I've gone to God for it. I've tried to get closer to God. And I, I'm not sure what it is yet. Mm-hmm. We don't know. Mm-hmm. But... Even with that, I feel like this verse is talking to me. You know, he's saying, I've overcome the world. Because whatever it is will probably seem impossible to us. Right, right. But he only gives you what you can handle, though. Is that right? Yep, because you can handle a lot. I think that's in the next verse we're going to do next time. Let me see. Because I have a verse picked up for next time. Yep, it is. So, God tells us next time how we can we can uh let's see overcome it yeah yeah cool how there is a way out for us Hmm. yes so next time's bible verse is about how we can overcome 
Oh, it gives you the answer. It endures. Ah. Mm -hmm. Now, by overcoming means to handle it, right? I mean, you, it's definitely going to happen. Right. 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 God says we'll have trouble. Right. We know that we'll it's have coming. trouble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're not looking for a perfect life. Right. We're looking for ways to overcome, endure. Looking for ways to... <laughs> To live through this until we can get to heaven, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or get through it. That's all. Right, right. Till the next one comes. Right. Get through this storm until the next storm right, comes. Right, right, right. This right. battle could be a could be a a, a demon battle. Or, could be a demon battle. A uh, spiritual yeah. battle. Yeah. Yeah. Show and it probably to, is because there put are your shields less. up. Get your sword out. That's right, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get closer to God. I'm trying to read things that He wants me to read. I'm trying to pray. You know, I, I'm not saying I'm doing it all right, but that's mm. what I'm working on because I feel like I'm up for a battle. That's right. So sharpen up that sword. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And part of that, though, too, is also giving it to God. Which is, has always been hard for me. Mm -hmm. I'm not very good at giving yeah, it all to yeah, God. I, I like to, uh, you know, it's, give it to him and then I take it right back. Yeah. 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 Gotta yeah. Take, you, you didn't do that fast enough, God. Let me take over. Gotta take, gotta. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take the wheel. I'm right. Uh, yeah. I don't always give, there's a song. Yeah. Jesus, take the wheel. Yeah. Yeah. You've heard that song. Yeah. You? you have it? <laughs> I heard the, uh, the title. Mm. I don't think I've heard that song. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, it's a country song. That's probably ah, why that's I haven't okay. heard it. Eh, I like country. Yeah, but you don't listen to it. Nah. <laughs> so he doesn't <laughs> like it. That's all. <laughs> I just don't know him that much. Because you don't listen to him. Yeah, I'm not a country boy, I guess. You are now. I know. You're definitely a country boy now. Uh -huh. We live in the middle of the country. In the middle of the country. In yeah. the middle of the country. In the middle of the country. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Because we live kind of in the middle of the United States. Yeah. In yeah. the middle of nowhere. Um, dap, dap, the little, look, uh, look in the middle. Dap, there in the center. That's right. That's right. All right. So let Jesus. He has overcome the world. He has overcome but the world. But he does warn us that we will have trouble. And this was from John? This was from John, right. yes. Okay. I had to shut off my phone because we were buzzing. Yeah. Get a yes, little feedback. From John. You'll have to. Yeah. Yeah. John, John's something. got some good ones in there. Yeah, he yeah. does. Yeah. There are some good ones in there. All the Gospels, I think. All the Gospels, I think, are my, I don't know want to say favorites, uh, but pretty close to favorite. I love Philippians, too. Now, Ephesians. what's the difference between a reading and a Gospel? Well, the Gospels are... The readings. Huh? Uh, the readings, are, are you talking about like the readings in church? Uh, no, well, they say, you know, from the Gospel. The Gospels are the first four chapters of the New Testament. Ah. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. They tell okay. the story of Jesus' life. Okay. Those are the Gospels. Oh, okay. Didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. So all the other ones like Romans and uh, Athithians and... Uh, Athithians? Yeah, something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. And uh, the Psalms and all like that. That's not part of the Gospel. No. Okay. No. But it talks, it, it relates to the Gospel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They all relate. Almost all of them relate to the gospel. It's a little history class for you. Right. Yeah. Right. I wish I knew more about the Bible. Yeah. That's, see, maybe that's what God's calling me to do is to get a little more right. learned. Learned. Don't be such a simpleton. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so share this with your friends. And family. And family. And uh, we need more uh, more listeners out there. Yeah. Let us and, and please pray for us because we have a battle on yeah, our hand. Yeah, it's coming. I don't know what it is, but mm -hmm. we know it's coming. Mm -hmm. God has given me that, just that little bit of insight mm -hmm. that I have. I learned it a long time ago when I was, first time I knew I had it was when I was eight years old and my brother died. Mm -hmm. The night that he died, I cried and cried and cried. And I said, Mom, something bad's going to happen. Something bad's going to happen. Aww. I just know. And he cried and cried and cried. She couldn't get me to calm down. Mm hmm just about the minute I fell asleep, they got the call. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That's scary. It is. It is. I know. I'm a witch. You <laughs> scared me, honey? I'm glad you said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
All right, well, thanks for uh, joining us, and uh, stay tuned for another video podcast. Video podcast. Thank you for us. And I am Mark. I'm Jenny. And uh, thanks for listening. Say a prayer. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> He's saying say a prayer for him. He's scared of me now. I love you. Love you too.